All right, kids, time for another review! And this time it's going to be my uh, favorite fucking hero! Legend Killer! Because it kills things! It also makes money! I like my fucking Legend Killer. I need, I need new builds for the Legend Killer, because it only did one build. So I made some other ones! Why, why the Legend Killer? Well... I could probably buy another one. I don't know why I'd buy another one. That's fucking stupid. But with the Legend Killer, you, you get some good quirks. You get cooldown for your ballistics, 10%. Eh. Plus the 10% for the LBX cooldown, that's good. That's better. Now you got 20%. After skill tree, it can be 29, 30%. That's, that's a lot of cooldown. And it's your cooldown, 10%. Lasers shoot faster now, due to the last update. Um, this is great for DPS, but fucking bullshit for heat. So, you're just gonna change your builds. And also, not shoot that much, which is kind of hard. Laser duration, 10%. After skill tree, that's 25. That's... That's good. So now I've got 25% burn time. Think of the pulse bloating. Four large pulse on a rifleman. Yeah, I'm doing that. Tune in next time for me giving away the next review. Okay, so, yeah, but 25% fucking burn time, that means standard lasers aren't, sh aren't that shit now, that's good. It's got extra structure, that means the tankiest of all the riflemen. Why do you want structure? Skill tree! That, that, that's why. Also, riflemen are whingy, people winch the riflemen are squishy, well now it's not that squishy. It's tanky. So, we have standard lasers and an LBX-10, because it is the LBX mech. And PGI, I don't know why you gave the Hero Mauler LBX spread, when you could have given, I don't know, the Legend Killer, which is the LBX mech, LBX spread quirks, like you did before, for fuck's sake. Like, you're about to introduce a whole bunch of new ones. And you don't give this thing spread. It could have been a thing. But back to other news. So, th this thing this build. So, I got two large lasers and I got two medium lasers and an LBX-10. It, it, it's not... It's not super creative, but it works very well. Why the left and right? Well, now you got corner poking. It's about... It's not 20 alpha. That's... That's what you use large pulse for. It's about 18 alpha. This is about 30... Not that. 20 alpha. Not 30 alpha. So, you know, it's, it's even. It's, it's about 20 damage either side for corner poking. However, my LBX crits, so this side has more potential to do more damage with open shit. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a good build. It runs cool. Look at the heat efficiency, 1.38. Look at the damage, 1.30. No, like, not 1.38. 38. It's... Okay, it's the 38 build. It, it's got enough ammo, I've got my crit padding. Rifleman's cockpit's kind of on the nose, so... Need my crit padding. Hey, I'm pretty sure ammo gets taken from the head first, so it's gonna disappear anyway. It's kind of stupid. But, you know, why, why would I opt for the standard lasers over the large poles? Well, let, let me show you. Well, first of all, I've got to fit large poles, so we get rid of the two lasers. It's one large pulse. Okay, well, I'll just drop the engine. Still can't fit a large poles. Still can't fit a large poles. Now I can fit a large poles. And now I got half a ton left over. Fuck do I do with half a ton? I mean, I can have two and a half tons of LBX and stick in another heat sink, that's kind of shit. I mean... Wait, why? Two and a half tons of LBX isn't really much, and... My heat efficiency is only 130. But I have a 40 alpha! And my range is shitter! And I go slower! So... Yes, burn time, but I'm not seeing it. My build does 38 damage. That's two less damage for going faster, running cooler, more ammo, and more range. And don't forget, we got burn time. It's a fucking rifleman, people. It's got a great peaking profile. Like, look at it in the background, see? Fucking high mounts. We've now got some range to poke with. You need to get back into the pokey pokey, people. Saves lives. Poking saves lives, people. But as with most builds or most riflemen, 
Rifleman is gun on legs, so treated as gun on legs. Straight up blue. Just all the fucking blues. Okay, not every single one, because I had to sacrifice. But I got magazine, I got LBX spread, I got burn time. And then just blew out the arse. I mean, my heat... My heat is 10.5%. My range is 10. 10%, that's pretty good. Mod module did 10%. Like, when we had modules. Eh. Heat gen. Heat gen... No. Yeah, heat gen's fucking 10.5%. So, why that? Because it used to have heat, gen, but now it doesn't. Now it's got fucking burn time, so I did give it max heat gen. Cooldown, cooldown's 9. Why 9%? Well, I'm not feeling the 10%. The 10.5%. Like, it's already got 29% cooldown. Now it's going to have 30.5. I'm not feeling it. Okay, so we've got Skeletal Density, like, it's got structure, so it's gonna get buffs from this. But I didn't, I didn't max the tree. It's a Rifleman, I had to sacrifice. Got on legs, so it's mainly firepower. Mobility, Rifleman's pretty removable as is. I mean, taking Torso Yaw off of your my mechs, so... Some mechs can already look behind them to begin with, so I don't need it. So, some makes you do. Rifleman? Rifleman's already got a good fucking twist. You don't need it. So that means you can put stuff into anchor turn and torso speed. Rif Rifleman Legend Kill always felt a bit sluggish. Before, for skill tree, it had a ton of quirks like the Rifleman 3 and then the other ones for like movement and shit. Legend Killer's always felt a bit sluggish. Um, I did have torso speed on, but I sacrificed it for more health. I just like being tanky. Sue me. It's a great build, it runs cool, it's got good DPS, it's got good PPD. The reason I changed from the 2LBX to this is because I wanted more PPD. Lasers have good PPD because they hit wherever you point them. Yes, they have burn time. But if you can, you know, not suck and hold the target, or lead where you want it, like draw, it works out in the end. Like, you, you can hit your shit caught a lot of people following them. So, you know, try out this build, it's different. I wouldn't say it's the most unique build ever ever designed, but what else am I supposed to do with this thing? It's got four fucking ballistic and four lasers. It's either boat ballistic or boat lasers, and lasers are lighter. It's a 60 tonner. There's not much else I can do with it. I mean, this build with the large poles, you can fit on the dragon. So, See, large pulse in that, but the dragon's got armor I can skim off. And it's also, like, it is, it's also 60 tons. But it's got armor quirk, so I can scrape it off. Rifleman hasn't got that much armor. Also, this one's only got 2.5 tons of LBX as well, so... You know, sacrifices must be made. But it doesn't have the peaking profile. And you have to expose the whole mech. Also, it's not a legend killer. Whatever, I'm gonna show you my legend killer. Maybe I'll show you my dragon. Where the before. hell did you go? Oh, there you are. Coming out the floor. I've landed an airstrike. Piece of shit. Open me up. Satellite link established. Yep, they're behind us. There's a sniper in the back. Sniper in the back. Fox five. Park two down the wall. Target engaged.
joke. Fucking joke. Yeah, you see, this is why you're born to join joke. Critical hit. Right arm. Target engaged. And most of them are dead, so we're good. F four, we got a cheater on the wall sniping. Something down Something down Be careful. There's my corpse. Two more more my thumbs there. Target engaged. Really killed it though. Target engaged. Good job, Pete. <laughs> Five mechs to go. All right. Found and I think the cheetah still. Yep. He's Fox 4. And there's the other dickhead. <laughs> I love this legend killer. God damn it. That's the sniper. He's back. Perfect. No. No, go. I don't want it to be seven. No, I know. Six. Eh. Five's good. Three KMDDs. <laughs> well, you did save five to go. 